Good morning. It's July the 19th, 2017. Time to recap our trading today. Take a look at the trading for Globex and tomorrow morning's day session. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made at any account well or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay. Um, the E-mini this morning... Um, just like yesterday and the day before, we have no interest in the short side of the market. Um, we were hoping to buy in the cheap. I didn't even have a shot at it. I mean, the market just opens right here above 60, and it just never looks back. Uh, we had projected 68 to 73 as potential resistance. Uh, we had that in our hands. The advice all day long was just find a place to get long and stay long. And we had... One opportunity to buy advantageously during the day and not have to pay up was against the mean green line. And that came an um, hour plus after the uh, day session opened. So uh, the E-mini is playing according to our script. There are no sellers. No institutions are willing to sell it. Um, all of the um, negative press about Trump um, seems to increase their resolve. So... Uh, here we are, uh, higher low, higher high on F1, find a place to buy it. Looking at the F2 screen, definitely a B, a P with two distributions. There's two P's right there. So 24.75 is our next stop. Uh, we have some news tomorrow. Jobless claims, 2.46. Philly Fed 22, LAI plus four tenths, and net gas inventories. Don't know what the projection is. 57 build last time. Uh, the focus will be Philly Fed right there, and just structural technical resistance at 75. Um, if we can't extend the range, we can sell failure at 70 plus or minus. Next sell is 74.76. When we take out 24.75, 2,500 will be the next stop. Uh, last rotate down was um, 66 and a half, so 65, 67 by one, and 60, 62 by two. Treasury's held in pretty well today, considering the strength of the E-mini. And this morning's news, they pretty well ignored it. But tomorrow we'll have the announcement of next week's two, five, and seven-year auctions. Uh, the when issued market will open when that announcement is made. Higher low, higher high. F1 says you can find a place to buy it. My guess is we're probably in a trading range. Um, more volume in the top half than the bottom half, so volume-wise, it's clearly a P. That's a D pattern. Uh, that means trading range, so we had a 3 to 7 sell this morning. Um, that looks, still looks reasonable, so we'll make it 4 to 8, pick it up a little bit, sell 1. 11 to 15, sell 2. On the buy side, we had a 25 to 29. We did not get there. Uh, the low was 30 and a half. We're at 01, so we'll try that again. 29 to 25, buy one. And then 17 to 23, buy two.
looking at the 30-year last rotate up was 30 then at the buck so 4 the buck to 04 which is where we were this morning number 1 7 to 11 cell 1 15 to 19 cell 2 on the buy side 20 to 24 buying 13 to 17 and then 5 to 9 Looking at gold, had a pretty good day in gold. Um, did stop. It's in a slow grind higher. Stops above 1250, or certainly within reach. Inside day on F1, find a place to trade it. F2. Uh, Forty-three, forty-fives are sell. Same as it was this morning. Forty-eight, fifty sell two. On the buy side, uh, we'll try thirty-six, thirty-eight, and then um, low, like thirty-one, thirty-three for buy two. Well, crude oil almost made our 47.50. It still looks pretty strong, but tomorrow is contract expiration. August goes off the board. It usually leads to an up day. Higher low, higher high. Find a place to buy it. Probably the correct split right there. Maybe a T split. X split. Definitely a P. Definitely there. So um, I think we can trade higher. But um, 4750, 75, sell so one. 48 even, 48 and a quarter, sell two. City thinks we're going to 50. 46.75, 47 by one. And 46 and a quarter, 46.50 by two. Okay, the Euro. Bank of Japan and the European Central Bank speak tomorrow. And uh, right now, uh, the Bank of Japan is expected to say that um, they're lowering their inflation projections. And the European Central Bank is supposed to say we will be tightening sooner rather than later at the end of the year. So we have a trading range right now in the euro based on F1. And uh, depending on what Draghi says, he can move the market two to three full points. If he gives the same speech that he gave a month ago or hence a month or two ago, oh, that news is in the market, that interest rates 
can go up at the end of the year, etc. Uh, they'll be looking for some comments on the balance sheet too, which is now larger than the Fed's. Okay, we have a B right here. Uh, this screen says find a place to sell it. So, but tomorrow's a news day trade. Uh, no matter what we say, it's going to swing on what uh, Draghi says. So sell ones at 75 if we didn't have news. Sell two is at 116 even. Without news, we do have news though. Um, we had a 1550 buy today. Uh, didn't produce much in the way of winners, but it did hold its support. And then 1525 for buy two. Like I said, on all currencies, the dollar, etc., it's going to be down to what the Bank of Japan and the European Central Bank say. And we'll have that news before the trading starts tomorrow. That's it for this July the 19th. I will see you bright and early in the morning. Hope you all have a great evening. Still summer in Wichita, Kansas. Later.